In this video, we are going to create the search view inside app bar. If you want to download this application source code and uh, other projects uh, found on our YouTube channel, you can download it by going to our Udemy course and selecting here the section of REST API or other sections. But this application that we, am, we are going to build in this course is under REST API with MVVM and Retrofit 2 section. And you can select the resources and click on this and download it to your uh, PC. Okay. So this application and other applications uh, on our uh, channel are available to download on Udemy and allow the user to make the search response and the search query. Hello my friends and welcome to Master Coding channel and the complete Android developer course. If you want to learn coding, please rate us five stars on Udemy to support us and subscribe to our YouTube channel if this is our, your first time. Now, in order to implement the search view inside the toolbar, we are going to create here search view inside the toolbar element in the main activity XML. And I will set the layout width to match parent and the layout height attribute. And I will set as action bar size. So guys, remember, we are going to make the search view here in order to allow the user to search for uh, the keywords. We remember in the previous videos that we have executed and get the results of the keyword called fast. This is the fast and we will see in this video how to execute it. Now, in uh, we will make a search view here we are designing it with the query hint looking for a movie. We are asking for a movie as a hint to allow the user to search for a specific movie or a specific uh, movies uh, keywords. And uh, remember guys, we are going to allow the user to enter his own queries, his own parameters and execute the API and get the results back to the Android application. Now I am customizing, you can make the Android background, but till now, uh, if you have any, uh, any color, you can comment it below or any style you can comment it below. We'll use in uh, later on, later videos. Till now, everything I think Good. Okay. So this is the implementation of the search view. Now let's go to the main activity and add the functionality for the search view. Remember guys, we need to take the input from the user in the, from the search view. In order to take it, I will create a method called search view or set up search view, search view and this this sorry this method is void and i will start by i will put it later on in the previous sorry at the last one and i will start by instantiating the widget the search view widget okay This, this search view will take the input from the user, query the method that we have created before, the retrofit method, and in the same way, we are getting the results into recycler view from the API. Okay, so final, I will start by making declaring it as final search view and search view 
will find a view by ID and our dot ID dot search view. So guys, it's very important to understand how the, the app or Android, how he think or how to execute the code in a clean architecture. So starting from this videos, we are going to implement the architecture MVVM and the specific for uh, our complex application later on for the next videos. So we are going, we have done. So if you are done making these uh, applications and you understand every concept, you are a professional uh, developer capable for making complex applications. Okay. So we have two methods here in the search view. We have implemented and overrided them. The first one on query text submit. When the user enter, when the user enter his own keywords, we need to get it. We need we need to get the string and query the search view uh, for uh, or sorry we are going to query the API by making the search view API and taking the string query. So when the user enters the text, the the text is stored inside a string called the query. I need to pass it to the uh, search movie API method that we have created before. Until now, we will uh, be uh, satisfied by getting the results for the first page, page. So I have passed the page number one. Okay. I will comment this on movie. And here I will remove this search movie API. Okay. I will delete it. And in this way, we have get it the data from, from the search view, executing and query the retrofit and query the API, getting the results according to the specific keywords that the users entered inside the search view. Now removing the extra spaces and making it clean. We have these methods now inside the movie list activity. If you have any questions, guys, please comment it below and we will answer it shortly. And if you want this, the source codes are available on the Udemy course in the resources that this in the resources below. Okay. Now let's run our application. And here we go, we have this. Looking for a movie. Yes, we are going to, to query the fast keyword. And here we go, guys. We are getting the results for the keyword fast. Okay. And everything is working fine. And we are querying the jungle and here we go. We are getting the jungle, all movies of uh, having a keyword jungle inside the title of the first page. Let's search for the 0017. Remember guys, we are getting the results of the first page of the API the moviedb.org API, only the first page. So we can pass page number two or three or whatever you want. But till now, we have implemented the search view correctly in our application. And we are going to make more and more advanced uh, things in the next videos.